the major issues that we're hearing about from people are affordable housing and health care. Uh, the problem with the Trans Mountain Project is that when the federal government bought it, when they decided to give billions in corporate welfare to a Houston oil company, they showed where their priorities lie. And it's with the corporations and the 1%, not with people who are trying to uh, you know, build a better future for their family in Burnaby. So that's where the issue plays into the election. And that's why we've seen such uh, good reception on the door when we talk to folks about what their hopes and dreams are and what they're – hoping for from the federal government, and then we ask them how they feel about their tax dollars going to pay for a pipeline. And Adam, how do you respond to that? Is that issue about tax dollars paying for a pipeline uh, a concern for voters in your mind? Because it is a huge chunk of money, and there are still questions about whether there was any value in that or what kind of value they'll be getting out of that purchase. Yeah, well, $4.5 billion is a lot of money, but you have to look at that in context. And the reality is, is that pipeline is a 50-year asset, which is going to be uh, turning out $1.5 billion in EBIT um, for that period of time. So the net return is going to be positive. So you think we're still um, going to be exporting heavy crude from Burnaby in 50 years? The the most recent forecast for oil in the world is that oil demand is spiking, uh, it, it, despite uh, all calls in the last years that that is not going to happen. The reality is it's spiking. Companies like Exxon and Chevron and Shell are all making now huge investments in the bet that oil consumption is going to increase. 